finds a man on the crossing route. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, 26 yards. On first and 10, Newton flush to his right. Muscles him off. And he'll be forced out of bounds shy of the line of scrimmage, so that'll be credited as a sack. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. On second down, here's Newton. And this one complete blank side to Funches. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Newton finding Funches for the Panther first down. The first red zone opportunity for the Panthers thus far. They've got a first and 10 at the 11. Out of the gun, Newton escaping the pressure right. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be designed runs as well as his scrambles. To throw on second down is Newton. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Panthers. Olsen. Greg Olson, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers take it right down and score on the opening drive. Graham Gano on for the extra point. Gano the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Gano out to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll start with a give to Cohen, and he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 22, here's second and eight. Now Trubisky to throw on second. Steps away to his left. And his throw is incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. So the failure to connect on second hey, down, AC, that AC, leaves AC. him staring up here at a third and eight. From the shotgun is Trubisky. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. That's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. Let's go. 
Oh, and boy, down a touchdown already, but they're going to line up to go for it on their side of the field. Red, red, They'll indeed go for it with Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Trying to lay one up deep. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They go play action here on first down. And it's caught inside the five. And he's brought down after a very nice game. He got 29 yards that time. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this. And, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem to I want it. offer mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing. And this is going to be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. How about the big boys snagging one? You don't see that every week. No, you don't, but a lot of them are just reliving their old dreams, going back to when they were in youth football and in high school. They didn't always play defensive line. Some of them actually handled the football, and you can see the flashback when he grabbed that one. Now a carry. It's C.J. Anderson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. But we just saw him run the football really effectively there with three tight ends in the game. And any defensive coordinator, when they see that set, if they can get him. This is Newton off the play, fake to McCaffrey. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. First down, here's the run with Anderson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Off play action, Newton. And incomplete on a deep ball. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? It certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and press your advantage. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Newton. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. 
You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Onto the field now come the Bears. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. On second down, Trubisky. Throw left side, taken in by Miller. And they work this well up field across the 45. A good pick up there, 22. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. K1 go, short. Go, go. Breaking throw to get him for a loss of seven. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. On second down, here's Trubisky. Completion left side to Miller. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. He's up to 70 yards now in his first half receiving as he's got a first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Throwing here, Trubisky. Flushed out right. Now he'll let it go deep over the middle. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. So with that, we come upon the two-minute warning here on the NFL on EA Sports. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Being Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. K1 Short in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. Second and goal from the six this time. Out of the gun, Trubisky. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Now they need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Now it's Trubisky. Eluding the pressure right. He may try and run for this. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. And Parkey's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So they do get the three points before they hit halftime. Something to build on, maybe. Yeah, go ahead and raise the banner, right? Wave the flag. That's good. Got points. And now, as you said, they've got something to build on as they get ready for the second half. Carolina Panthers coming out here. And they're 6-2 and two right now. They've won three in a row. You've been talking about them 
with me off air, Charles. You really like where this Panthers team's at right now. I certainly do because I think they continue to get better on the defensive side of the ball. They've got a rookie corner named Dante Jackson who's really breaking in well. The addition of Eric Reed in the secondary. I just think that this team is really starting to put it together. And Luke Keekley Now a clash of bodies here and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down in the hands of the wrong team. After the interception, here's Trubisky. He leaves this one for Howard. And some room to maneuver. A good pick up there, a 22. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Dumps that off to his running back, Jordan Howard. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A good pick up there, a 22. First down now, but that clock rolling. Trubisky will throw. Dance into his left. And that is incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home. And they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll run for it with Tariq Cohen. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Bears are in for six. Parkey with the extra point. And the lead is now 10 to 7. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. to the field here come the Panthers and with time quickly fading here in the second quarter not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot The clock showing just 16 seconds till the half as they line up first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to go deep for Funches. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Adrian Amos, the safety, able to make the play. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. 20. On second and 10, Newton. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So now Cam leads the Panthers out following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Final shot before the break. Newton flushed to his right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. We now proceed to the start of the second half. So we come upon halftime here at Soldier Field with the Bears out in front. This will be taken very short. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. 
So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try. Blitz coming and down he goes. Mario Addison in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's go, a stat go, go. sheet stuffer. Had the interception go, 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 earlier, go, go. now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Let's, go, Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. Red, red, Now it's Trubisky. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. Well, we quit counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third and a mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. That's taken on the 25. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? And I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. They did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. Let's see if they can get the latter 50%. Newton to Olsen there for a Carolina first down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun as he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. That second down run, a big help. The seven yards leaves him with just a third and three now. Well, there's an example of patience being rewarded. Ran the ball on first down and got stuffed. Most people would scream, throw the ball here in this situation. They stayed with their roots, stayed with running the football, and they got rewarded. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll get down to about the 26-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. It was funny, during the draft process, someone said to me, well, whoever takes... And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great play there from six yards away. And his guys are able to strike for six. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Now the Bears' offense ready to take over again. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play.
Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 21. Here's Trubisky. Pressure comes, and Trubisky goes down. It's a guy who played four years for the Bears, Julius Peppers. Coming hard that time. He's able to run him down for a loss of 12. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. The Bears on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and a mile. Now Trubisky to throw. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Julius Peppers in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. Taking it about the 36. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Panthers will take over in terrific field position. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And this will complete right side to Funches. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Here's Newton now on second down. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off at the 38. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. On first down, Trubisky throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and down. Now Howard stripped. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Panthers. 30, 20, 10, and he will score. Touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Extra point try. Good by Godot. And that makes it a 21-10 game. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 21. Here's Trubisky to throw. He sets to fire deep. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 32 that time. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now Trubisky on first down. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack. 
Back at the 47-yard line, K1 Short able to disrupt yet another pass play, his third sack of the afternoon. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Now Trubisky. Throw left side complete. That's Miller. And he gets this inside the 35 yard line. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. Looking deep for Gabriel. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. This quarter, maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Second and ten, it's Trubisky again. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Captain Mutterland. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here, when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Forced out to his left. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I like his thought process and his ability to move and get downfield. But what I didn't like was the final decision to go out of bounds. They want to keep the clock moving. Instead, they give the defense an extra timeout. To throw on second down is Newton. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Bird. A good pick up there, a 22. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. On second down, here's Newton. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. And give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. The Panthers on third down, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and pick it up in McCaffrey. McCaffrey with a first down and more. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. 
Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They get it to him running left. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. C.J. Anderson taking it in. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Offensive line coaches always tell their guys, if we score touchdowns, that means we get to the end zone first. That's exactly what those blockers did, clearing the way for their back. Gano out to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And then finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. He's got his man in the crossing round. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one goes for 36 yards. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. On first and ten, it's Trubisky. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game. And to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on. And they just play better and better. Again on second and ten, it's Trubisky. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. Touchdown, Chicago. Taylor Gabriel, 44 yards. And the Bears get a bit closer. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. Parkey adds the extra point, and the lead is down to 11 at 28-17. Parkey now set to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Panthers' offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. off to his running back McCaffrey now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play here's second and seven now from the 28 looking to throw on second down Newton out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Three, three, three. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. And a timeout here. Timeout taken, whistles blown. Timeout taken by the receiving team. As he'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. We just saw another example of really good defensive football, which has led to the cushion that they have in this game. Got to him once again, knocked him on the ground, forced an incompletion. Yeah, they've set the tone. It's one thing to set the tone, another to come in here on the road and set the tone. Caught out left side by Robinson. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throwing here, Trubisky. And got his man, complete. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Chicago. Taylor Gabriel with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Bears have cut it to within a score. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. A toss running left. That's Howard, and he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. So with just over a minute to play, this becomes a make-or-break onside kick. And it looks like the Panthers' hands team does its job. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. The Panthers down to a knee out of the victory formation. This one going to wrap up with Cam Newton going down to a knee. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, oh, how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, they did in this one. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Getting a hand in there and knocking it away, Eddie Jackson. It certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, they'll be disappointed with that effort. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten. One last shot for Trubisky. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it, and that's how this one ends in dramatic fashion in overtime with the interception. The 
Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five play, 